Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday morning, and good to be with you today. Let's get started with our devotion. Today, we're looking at how this ungodly world affects our hearts, affects who we are. And the Bible says in verse number 21, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Verse 22 says, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. The value of not only belonging to God, but submitting to him and believing what he says is so important. Did you know how much God protects you and I? And we don't even realize uh, what could happen because we are walking with the Lord, because we are submitting to the things of God. Here the writer in Roman is talking about a group of people that has chosen, that has decided, you know what? We don't. You know, I, I know, I know God. I know who I know who He is. I I know about Him, but I choose not to acknowledge Him as such. That's what it's saying. And so the Bible says, because that when they knew God, they glorified Him not as God, and neither were they thankful. They 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 ignored the fact. They probably even rejected the fact. No, God hasn't blessed me. No, I, I know that I have good health. I know that, you know, uh, you know I, have, I have all these things. But you know what? They were not thankful for those things. And that's sad. You know, by the way, Thanksgiving is coming up. And you ought to gather with your family and you ought to, you ought to stop with your family and just acknowledge not only who God is, but you ought to be thankful and begin to count your blessings and say, this is because of God, because truly, God is good. But you know what, folks? I tell you, if you and I are not careful, we'll, we'll get, we can get to the point that we are not thankful. And like, like, like this group of people here, and the Bible says, they became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened. Even how they thought, even, even they, they, they did not attribute anything to the things of God and their conclusions were, were just sad because their conclusions had nothing to do with the truth and it was all empty thinking, just empty thinking. And the Bible says that their hearts were darkened. You know, when you remove the light, when you take away the truth, you know, it just leaves darkness and it affects our hearts. And folks, I tell you, but we that are saved, thank God. Thank God for the Lord. Thank God for what he's done in our lives. And I want to challenge you and I want to encourage you as you go out today. May you and I not forget that it is God it is God that has blessed us. It is God that has provided for us. It is the Lord. And every time we think, every time that we uh, uh, do the things that God has called us to do, and, you know, uh, may we be aware that God has directed our steps and God has, has guided our thinking. And may our thoughts be upon him. And may we attribute all that we do because of him. And oh, I tell you, may we truly walk in the light. Because he is in the light. Lord, uh, our bless the Lord. And be thankful to the Lord for what he has done. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, thank you. We don't, we don't hardly even realize many times how we are blessed. But Lord, may we on a daily basis acknowledge what you have done for us. Lord, bless us, I pray. And Father, help us to guard our minds. And Lord, help us to guard our hearts and let the light of the glorious truth shine in our lives and help us to embrace it all the time. 
And Lord, help us to reject this old sinful world and the darkness that's there. Thank you for what you've done for us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today. We'll talk with you in the morning.